Hey y'all, y'all actually are probably going to think that I'm crazy. <sighs> okay, breathe Jess, get your life. All right. So hey, what's up everyone? It's Jess, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Y'all, I know it's been a while, but I've got a big one for y'all today. So if you're new here, I do plant videos, home decor, and DIY. So if that's something that you're into, hit the subscribe button down below and I'd love to have you join my family here. So y'all, I have been doing a ton. When I say a ton, it's a ton of plant shopping. Like I'm looking at everything that I just have to show y'all today. So I don't even know where to start. Let's, I'm gonna break it down by store. So let's start with, I'm gonna start with Walmart first because I think I have the most from Walmart. So yeah, let me get the first plant for y'all. Okay, so up first we have this gorgeous Monstera Adansonii, AKA Little Swiss. This plant has been trending on Instagram like crazy. So I picked this one up from my local Walmart. We have like six in my area. So this is at the one closest to me. This was the last one and the only one that they had. So as you can see, some of the leaves are a little bit damaged on it, which I didn't mind just because it's a rare plant. I picked it up, y'all. I've been fighting this plant for a while, y'all. Like I really, I don't know. This plant is not really all that attractive to me, but of course I picked it up just because it's a rare plant and that's what plant addicts do. We pick up and collect the rare plants. So this one in particular is part of the Trending Tropicals collection by Costa Farms. It's also called Little Swiss, you might also see this as the Swiss cheese plant. But yeah, this is a trailing monstera. You can let it trail down or you can also train it to climb up a moss pole or like a wooden stake or however you want it to trail a trellis. But yeah, I'm just y'all, I'm just not in love with this plant, y'all. What I am actually going to do just so that I have it, I'm going to take some cuttings from this and then I'm going to give the rest of this plant away to one of my coworkers. So this is the first plant. Okay, so up next, also from my local Walmart, I picked up this raindrop peperomia, or is this a pilea? It's a pilea. Y'all, <laughs> I saw this and I was like, oh, it's just a regular plant. And then I went back and I was like, no, this is the raindrop leaf one. So I went back and got this one. This one was $15.96. This is also part of the Trending Tropicals collection by Costa Farms. So yeah, y'all have probably seen the Pilea peperomoides, the common, just round, I think it's called the Chinese money tree as well, the friendship sharing plant. So yeah, this is another variety of this. This one, of course, has larger leaves. This one, y'all, in the store, there's birds flying around, so it's like bird poop on it. I've got to clean it up. But yeah, I just love like how big the leaves are and I think the shape is cute. So yeah, pick this one up. Okay, up next, I also bought this small little Janet Craig Dracaena, y'all. I know y'all see this plant everywhere. It's very common. And that's part of the reason why it took me so long to pick one up is because I see it all the time. But y'all, I finally caved and I just think it's so gorgeous. Like I love the lushness green of the leaves like it's just it's so simple but yet it makes such a statement so i think it's cute i think this one was only like two dollars and 98 cents in the small little four inch pot that they come in and this pot also is from walmart it was two dollars and 50 cents so yeah this is also from walmart okay up next i have this type of bromeliad y'all it took me forever to find the name of this plant just because I personally would consider this a rare plant just because I could not find hardly any information on this plant when I was researching. So at the very, very bottom of the barcode, it had just half of the name. So I was able to Google that and find the full name. I'll insert it down at the bottom of the screen somewhere as I am for all of these plants. This is related to the bromeliad family. It's called like a Pitcairnia something or other. I don't know. But I had been seeing this plant a couple of times when I went in Walmart and what caught me was, of course, the red maroon undersides of the leaves. And then they also have this pretty veining down the front of the leaves, y'all. It was just, it called to me. I thought it was a Dracaena at first. I was like, I've never seen a Dracaena with two-tone leaves like that. So yeah, 
I picked this one up. I'm going to do probably a separate video on this once I figure out exactly the care on this plant. But yeah, I just thought this was unique. So I picked it up and potted up in this pot that I got from TJ Maxx. And this one, I think, I think this one was $9.99 or $9, well, Walmart is $9.98, I should say. So yeah, I just thought this plant was super unique. It's pretty, it is kind of low down in this pot. I might need to lift it up some. But yeah, this is going on my coffee table as my centerpiece this year in my living room. So yeah, love this plant. Whew, y'all, it's hot. I have so many plants to go through. Hopefully this is the last plant that I got, I think, from Walmart. Don't quote me, I'll probably pick up something else and be like, oh, by the way, I got this one from Walmart too. But I picked this one up. This is a yucca. Y'all, I have been wanting a yucca for so long. I think they're gorgeous structural plants and what kind of stopped me from getting it is I always see like them starting to yellow and that kind of scared me and intimidated me but y'all after reading up on it I think I can be a good plant mom to this plant hopefully we'll see it has like a lot of new growth coming out so I'm kind of excited about that because I read that these are very very easy to propagate, you just like cut this off, stick it in dirt, and you have a whole new yucca tree. So yeah, pick this up from my local Walmart, and this was $12.97. So yeah, I finally got a, Lord, I finally got a yucca tree, y'all. I'm excited, so excited. So yeah, that wraps up Walmart. Let's move on to, let's do Home Depot next. Okay, first up from Home Depot, I picked up this Bird of Paradise, y'all. This is a white Bird of Paradise, so this is the one that gets super huge and has the super large leaves. If y'all remember, I had a gigantic Bird of Paradise that I got from Ikea. It was my pride and joy, and unfortunately, I had to trash that plant because the spider mites got the best of it. That was before I knew how to treat for spider mites properly, so yeah. Had to get me a new one, and I decided to start off with a baby and watch it grow. So yeah, I picked this one up. This one was, what is this? $19.98, and it's actually two plants in the pot, and this leaf opened, I wanna say like two days after I bought it, and I have another one in the process of opening now, so. I love this plant. I think it makes such a perfect structural statement in any place that you put it. I have the proper lighting in here. Y'all know I have like a ton of high windows. My ceilings are like 20 feet high with windows. So yeah, it gets plenty of light in here and I'm just excited to have another one in my collection and watch it grow. So yeah, this is the first one from Home Depot. Okay, up next from Home Depot, I picked up this palm here. Y'all, this is a Eureka palm. So this is actually one of two that I bought. I have another one that I'm keeping at work on my desk. Um, but yeah, this one was a lot more full when I bought it. But y'all, when I went on vacation, I guess it got too dry and I came back and it was like all of them, I need to prune this. All of them were like super dried and crispy, so I cut them back. Need to do some more cutting and I probably need to water this as well. But y'all, palms normally don't do well for me. As you can see, the tips are browning. Well, most of this was here when I bought it, but I'm going to try my best to keep this nice and green and lush. And I just love the structure of this plant. I had a parlor palm, I think that's what you call it. And spider mites got to that at work. Um, and I love the structure of that one as well, but I just love how like, light and airy and wispy this palm tree is so yeah pick this up this one was i re repotted it already i think this was 6.98 when i bought it i'll have to go back and check but yeah i think it was like six or seven dollars or so so yeah love this palm and i'm hoping it will love me back also from home depot i picked up this gorgeous jade plant y'all i just love how full this plant is like, and I love the little red veining on the tips, y'all. This is a succulent, so I probably will only water this maybe like once a month. 
I do have another jade that's just the plain green jade. It doesn't have like the red outlining on it, but yeah, I just thought this was super pretty. Pick this up, this one, I think I kept it in its original pot. Let's see, yeah. So this one was 1098. It is a jade cachet, Crashula ovata, so yeah. I love this plant. I think it's so pretty and simple. And of course, easy care. Okay, also from Home Depot, y'all, I picked up this Begonia Maculata. Y'all know this has been going around Instagram and YouTube like crazy. I've been seeing these everywhere now. I've been seeing them in Home Depot. I've seen them in Lowe's. I've seen them in Walmart. So yeah, it's not so much of a rare plant now that they're everywhere, but this is part of the Cost of Farms Trending Tropicals line as well. I got this one from Home Depot for $19.98, came with this pot, um, but I have also seen them in Walmart for the $15.96 price, including the pot. So yeah, you can pick it up at any of the big box stores in your area. I know a lot of y'all still are saying that Cost of Farms is not in your areas yet, but y'all, it's like, today it's 83 degrees here. So I know some of y'all have snow, right now. So once it starts warming up, they'll probably start shipping to your area, depending on what happens with this whole virus situation. But yeah, anyways, back to the plant. This is the Begonia Maculata, aka Angel Wing Begonia. Um, the Trending Tropical Lines is calling it the polka dot plant, obviously because of the gorgeous polka dots that the leaves put out. I love the shape of these leaves. I love the red back of the leaves. Y'all, this plant definitely intimidated me, which is why I didn't pick it up when I got my ZZ Ravens. But, of course, the hype got to me, so I caved and I got one. And I actually have new growth coming out. So there's a new leaf coming in there. And I also have a new leaf coming in here. So two new leaves on the way. It's been doing great so far, y'all. When I bought it, it already came with, like, this, like, discoloration or, like, fungus-looking spots on it so hopefully the new leaves will do better for me and then also from home depot i picked up this calathea mosaica aka the network calathea y'all this is another part of the trending tropicals cost of farms collection this one was 19.98 with this pot from home depot Again, just with the Maculata, I've seen this one in Walmart as well for $15.98 with the pot. So y'all can get this as well from the big box stores once they make it to your area. But y'all, I just love this Calathea. And from what I've read, it's way easier than all the other Calatheas to care for. Actually, if you get a Calathea that's more green in the leaf and does not have the purple backing, just as a general rule of thumb, those calatheas are easier to care for. So yeah, I just love the patterns of the leaves of this. The network pattern is what makes this plant so unique to me. So yeah, pick this one up. And this one again, I think I already said it, but it was $19.98. Okay, and then lastly from Home Depot, I picked up this little Easter cactus here. This is, I think, my second cactus. Yeah, because I have a Thanksgiving cactus. This one, the way you can tell the difference, y'all, is the Easter cactus has like the round leaves on it. And when I bought it, it was just a bunch of buds. These buds literally just opened this morning. So yeah, I think this is super cute and I love how pretty it is. And it's just a pretty pop of color for spring. So yeah, pick this up. This was... Mm, I don't know, it doesn't say, but I think this was only like $4 maybe. And it didn't come in this pot. This pot is actually a pot that came with another plant that I'm about to show you in a minute. Repotted it and just put it in here because I thought it was cute, so yeah. Easter cactus. Okay, so now we're moving on to Trader Joe's, y'all. I picked up this Chinese evergreen. This is an aglaonema, I forget the name. I'll insert it down at the bottom as I have been for all my plants that I've been showing y'all. But look, y'all, it's blooming. Can you see that? I'll try to zoom in. But yeah, I just love the pattern of the leaves. Y'all know that I love speckled leaves. And I just don't have like a lot of pink plants. So I figured this would be a nice addition to my pink collection. 
so yeah i just purchased this this one was i think seven or eight dollars from trader joe's y'all should have kept the tags for this video but i literally bought these like probably like two or three weeks ago so i'm just getting around to filming the video for y'all but yeah i just think it's pretty and it's going to be happy in this pot all right, moving on to Lowe's now. I picked up another Chinese evergreen. This is a Aglaonema something. Again, I'll leave the name down below once I find it. But y'all, I just like how unique this plant is. Like it has kind of like three different kind of leaves in it. Like you have this yellow with the deep maroon vein. Then you have this green speckled leaf with the maroon vein. And then I have a completely maroon leaf here. So. I just thought it was unique and the pink stems were cute to me and I know this is going to be another easy grower so yeah I just picked that up I think this one was $6.98 as well potted it in this pot that I got from Walmart for five dollars and yeah oh I have a new shoot coming y'all it's exciting so yeah this is the first thing I got from Lowe's okay also from Lowe's I picked up this gorgeous pink Fetonia I'm keeping my pink trend going here for spring y'all this one i think is my favorite out of everything that i'm hauling today i think this is my favorite this is such a unique plant y'all i have two other vetonias i have like the dark magenta leaf one and i just have the plain green and white but y'all look at the leaves on this i'll probably just insert a clip closer up for y'all but y'all these leaves i've never seen leaves like rippled like this i thought it was so unique so the new growth comes out like this faint like pale pink color and then as it matures it develops the spots and the leaves get bigger so i thought it was super cute i potted it up in this planter that i got from i think i got this from at home my anthurium used to live in this pot but unfortunately that did not survive so yeah new home for this plant and of course it's got the j for my name on it and i just think this plant is super super cute so yeah got this from Lowe's and this one I think was three dollars and ninety eight cents in just a small little four inch pot up next I have this gorgeous hanging plant here this is a peperomia something I know I looked it up I can't remember what the name is right now but yeah I just thought it was super cute it caught my eye I love the little hearts on it y'all I just think it's sweet so yeah, I'm going to let this one trail. I probably will hang it in one of my macrame plant hangers that I make. If y'all haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere in the cards and also in the description box. Check that out. But yeah, I just thought this was a super cute hanging plant with the little hearts. And this one was $10.98 from Lowe's. Okay, and then lastly from Lowe's, I picked up this small little aluminum plant, y'all. I saw this plant for the first time when I was on vacation in Myrtle Beach, and I don't know why I didn't buy it, because it's been in my head ever since then, so it was on my wish list. Checked it off. It is so unique, you guys. I just love the texture and the pattern of the leaves. It's just, it's so cute. But yeah, this one was only, I think, $3.98 as well, and just a small little Four inch pot so yeah if you see these in Lowe's pick it up okay moving on to the next place I bought this Dracaena tree this is a dragon tree but it is actually the swirly curly version I picked this up from a garden nursery here that we have called the big greenhouse if y'all haven't seen my last video go check it out they have a ton of plants in there y'all It is literally like a jungle I see why they call it the big greenhouse but yeah I got this small little one from there. They did have some taller ones. So this one basically will grow upwards into like an actual tree, but the leaves will continue to swirl around it. I thought it was super unique. This one was only, I think, $5.95 or was it $6.97? Y'all, I suck. I should have been more prepared for the video, but yeah. I picked this one up and then I got this planter from Walmart. This planter I think was only $12 I want to say it came with the stand so yeah thought this was super cute next up I picked up this burgundy rubber tree y'all I just thought this was so 
pretty when I saw it. I actually got this from the farmer's market. It was my first time ever going to the farmer's market. It was super cold outside that day, so I felt bad for all of the plants. Um, but because it was so cold, the vendor was actually selling all of her plants half off. So I got this guy for $3. Um, it was a lot more full, but a lot of the leaves were damaged. So I cut it off, or not cut it off, cut off the damaged leaves, cleaned up the leaves. I actually have a couple I still am seeing some water spots on that I need to go back and clean. But yeah, it is putting out new growth. So I have this new leaf here. This one just opened, and then I have another one coming in right here. So yeah, another simple, just lush green plant. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't pass it up for $3. Okay, y'all, I told y'all I was probably gonna forget something. So this is another plant that I picked up from Lowe's. We're gonna jump back to Lowe's just a little bit. I picked up this heart-shaped philodendron. This was actually on clearance for $4, so I couldn't pass it up. Y'all, philodendrons are the easiest growing plants ever. And I won't say ever, because there are a lot of easy growing plants, but y'all, this one grows super well for me. Um, this one is actually the one, I don't know if y'all remember, the Easter cactus that I just showed y'all, the pot that it was in. It actually came in that pot. So I got the pot and the plant together for $4. So couldn't pass that up. Such an easy grower, another just lush green plant, and it's putting out ton of new growth already since I've repotted it in the six inch pot but yeah got this from Lowe's okay y'all we're coming down home stretch so I know I just showed y'all a plant that I got from the big greenhouse we also have another garden center or plant shop in the area called the tiny greenhouse so they were actually having a sidewalk sale because of what's going on in the area y'all know I can't say it but y'all know what's going on so Due to them having to close, they had all of their plants 50% off. So I picked up this Hoya here. This is a Hoya Crimson Queen. And y'all, it's already putting out three new leaves for me. So y'all, I'm not big on Hoyas. This is actually my third Hoya and probably my last Hoya that I will get. Actually, let me not say that. I'm not going to jinx myself, but yeah. This is only my third Hoya and my other Hoyas are doing great. Um, so I don't anticipate issues with this plant either. I know I read and a guy also told me in the store, the more light that it gets, these leaves actually will start to turn more pink. So I'm excited about that. This one was, I think it came out to be $5. Yeah, this one was originally $10 and I got it for five. Also from the tiny greenhouse, y'all, I had to pick up another bird of paradise, y'all. I just hauled one for you in this haul, but couldn't pass it up. This is a baby white bird of paradise, and this one was only $10, you guys. So yeah, I'm excited to have another one growing. So yeah, had to pick this up. Okay, and then the last plant that I picked up from the tiny greenhouse sidewalk sale is this small little Calathea. This is Calathea rosea, or how, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll insert the name for y'all. Pick this one up. This one is very similar to the Calathea medallion, um, but it does have more pink variegation, I guess you can say, and veining in its leaves. And y'all, I do have a new leaf coming. This one was, I think this is the original pot, so this one was originally ten dollars so with the half off sale this one only came up to be five bucks for this so yeah excited to add this one to my calathea collection okay you guys so excited to show y'all this one hey y'all y'all actually are probably going to think that i'm crazy also i'm probably going to regret saying this but y'all this is the last plant that i had on my plant wish list like when i tell y'all right now i have nothing else left that i currently want or desire to buy on my plant wish list. This was the last plant on my wish list, and I finally checked it off. This is my beloved philodendron broken. Y'all, I got this plant from an independent seller on Instagram. He actually had posted that he had a couple left, and this was actually the last one that he had in this size. This is a four inch plant. It just put out this brand new leaf for me. Um, so I have potted it up in this six inch pot. Um, I need to get another 
<laughs> planter for this because I feel like this one is just drowning it out. But yeah, I'll get another white pot for this. I paid $28 including shipping for this Birkin. So yeah, this is probably the most expensive out of everything that I've paid for in this entire haul. And it's one of the smaller plants, but y'all, I don't care. This is a rare plant. It was on my wish list. And I'm so excited to have it in my collection. So yeah, Philodendron Birkin. Okay, y'all, so I have two more plants to show you guys. And we're gonna have to take another step back because I kind of forgot to mention them in the earlier stores that we were in, but I have this Diffenbachia here, you guys. Okay, so we have Diffenbachia Reflector here, y'all. I picked this one up at Home Depot straight off the delivery truck. Like, they hadn't even unpackaged them yet, if y'all saw in my last plant shopping video. So, yeah, I had to get this one. This one definitely caught my eye as I was walking up on it. And this one came out to be $14.98. And I just potted it up in this... Well, actually, I haven't repotted it. It's still in this original nursery can. I still have to repot this one. Um, but I just put it in this Walmart planter. Walmart has a step up. If y'all saw my plant and pot haul, there is one more larger size of the pots that Walmart is now carrying. And these fit two gallons, two to 2.5 gallons. Um, and they're $12 each. So this is the largest size that Walmart carries for the indoor pots. But yeah. Put this one in here i think it looks amazing y'all i love 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 different bakias and this one is just so lush and full y'all i'm almost scared to repot it because i don't want it to start dropping or losing any leaves but i am getting a lot of new growth coming in as well so love this different bakia is so so pretty <sighs> okay last but not least we have this gorgeous Diffenbachia star bright, y'all know I love speckled leaves. And y'all, this plant caught my eye from across the store in my original rare plant shopping video. I originally saw this in Home Depot and I was like, I don't need another Diffenbachia. I'm not gonna get it. It was $15, so I just left it. Then I saw it again in the Walmart by me and it was cheaper. It was $12.97, so I couldn't leave it. I had to pick it up. I caved. That's just what we do. So yeah, I brought this one home. I love the pattern and the structure of this plant. So this one has like a more narrow, Ooh. oh yeah, I thought that was a bug. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. Whew. I thought that was a bug. Okay, let me get my life. Ooh, breathe just. So yeah, as I was saying, this one has like a more narrow, it's just my bracelet. Whew. Okay, breathe just, get your life. All right, so anyways, that's what I was saying. This has a more narrow upright leaf and the other one is more like round and compact. So yeah, I love the airiness and the movement of this plant. It's just, y'all, this is just gorgeous. And I love like how light, how like how bright green this is. The lime green and the white, I think make it pop more and stand out more. So yeah, this is the lovely Diffenbachia star bright and also the last plant of my haul today, y'all. Did anybody keep track of how many, like, did anybody take, let me take a count real quick. Y'all, I bought 23 plants this month. Like, that's kind of embarrassing to say. It is outrageous, you guys. And it's all because of what's been going on. It's the stress from the virus. It's the stress from work. It's just... Plants are my way of coping. So I have been going plant shopping like crazy. And don't get me wrong, y'all. I love all of the plants that I bought. Don't take that wrong at all, please. But yeah, it's, it's a little shocking once you see how much I've actually bought. But anyways, yeah, I am definitely going on a no buy. April 1st, y'all, help me. Somebody hold me accountable for this. Somebody do the challenge with me and hold me accountable. I was supposed to be on a no buy this month and I bought 23 plants. Like, cancel March. We're starting again, fresh, April 1st. No plants. No house plants. I probably will still buy. Well, actually, no, I really don't have. Let me, let me just. No house plants as of April 1st. 
We're on a no buy. But yeah, anyways, thank y'all so much for joining me on this video, this gigantic plant haul. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. And as always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.